morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis by covering the crude oil market and recent events stirring the market. Greg? The last session saw the oil fall 0.7% against the dollar. The stochastic RSI is giving a positive signal. The gold dollar pair rose 0.1% in the last session after gaining as much as 1.3% during the session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The last session saw the euro rise 0.4% against the dollar. The ROC's positive signal contradicts our overall technical analysis. The dollar-yen pair fell 0.7% in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. Thank you for sharing with us. Now let's hear from our news department. The UK government has delayed introducing more checks on EU goods entering the UK over fears it will disrupt supply chains and add to rising inflation. The coronavirus lockdown in Shanghai is having a widespread impact on car makers from China and Japan to America, forcing many to halt or delay the production of vehicles. Supply chain disruptions are caused both by the pandemic and parts procurement issues. Following disappointing results from Amazon, Wall Street stocks ended a painful April on a sour note as European and Asian markets surged higher. Amazon dropped by 14.1% in its first loss since 2015. Thank you. And now let's go through today's major economic events. The US ISM Manufacturing PMI will be released at 1400 hours GMT. The US ISM Manufacturing Employment Index at 1400 GMT. Germany's retail sales at 0600 GMT. The Eurozone's business climate will be released at 0900 hours GMT. Japan's Jibun Bank Manufacturing PMI at 0 hours and 30 minutes GMT. Japan's Consumer Confidence Index at 0500 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial market.